Alright, what's up my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. So let's talk Daniel Cormier against Derek Lewis. Daniel Cormier has admitted that he injured his hand and his hand will not be 100% for the Derek Lewis fight. Now, I'm happy that he admitted that he hurt his hand, okay? Because it makes me watch the fight, you know, just more educated, more keen on what's going on. If Daniel Cormier is going for the takedown all day long, now I know why. He's not trying to sit there and strike all day because he has an injured hand. You know, does that change my prediction of the fight? No, I think Daniel Cormier will still beat Derek Lewis. It's just that he's going to have to get him to the ground as soon as possible. Now, I think Derek Lewis, I think he does have stamina issues and Daniel Cormier, he's going to be able to capitalize on that. But um, I'm happy that he did admit to his hand being injured and now we can look at it like, you know what, Daniel Cormier, you're going to have to grab this guy, single leg takedown, something like that because striking with him was already a bit of a no-no. Now it's a no, 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 no. <laughs> Now, let's talk Floyd Mayweather against Habib. Now, my last video, I had a few comments by my show business partner saying, hey, look, showbiz the adult. That is going to really happen. Floyd Mayweather against Habib. To me, it's not happening at all. I really don't believe in it. Maybe I'm just hoping it doesn't happen. But Habib... From, in my opinion, Habib was making a joke because, you know, him and Conor McGregor and the whole, I, I, I saw it as a huge joke. The only one that was taking it seriously was Floyd Mayweather, and I'm thinking he's trying to speak it into existence. Why? Because he's trying to get paid. Okay, now, I don't know if he has financial issues. It seems like that is the case, but either way, he's trying to get paid. So he's going to take a Conor McGregor rematch. He's going to take a Habib fight. He's going to take a Pacquiao rematch. Anything Thing that is a low risk, high reward. It's up to us to feed into it and buy into it. But I think all in all, a fight with Habib is horrible for the sport, for both sports, but it's definitely horrible for boxing because Floyd Mayweather is the name for both and he happens to be a boxer, okay? So I hope this doesn't materialize. I think it makes boxing a joke. I think it makes Everyone who will buy into the fight, I think the jokes will the joke would be on us. I think he'll be robbing us, and I'm really not looking for that to happen. I hope this whole circus pass, and I hope he doesn't get the fight he wants. If he really wants to fight, if he really wanted to fight, and if it wasn't for the money, then he'll come back and fight somebody like Terrence Crawford. You see, he's not doing anything like that, so he wants low risk, high reward, and I hope this doesn't materialize. Now. Let's talk Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez just signed a contract with the zone for five years and 11 fights, okay? And it's worth $365 million, making it the highest contract of all time. I think he surpassed Floyd Mayweather with the contract he signed with the zone. Now, how do I feel about that? Canelo Alvarez is 28 years old, okay? So, he's younger than Keith Thurman, he's younger than Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, he's even younger than Adrian Broner, okay? But this guy has had over 50 fights, uh, fighting the likes of Floyd Mayweather, beating Cotto, fighting Triple G twice, uh, fighting Laura, um, you know, Amir, like Sugar Shane Mosley. He has had all these great fighters under his belt. He's only 28 years old. He's accomplished so much and he has so much more to accomplish. 11 fights. There are a lot of big fights to be had with Canelo. On top of that, he has all of Mexico on his back, okay? So, that is a huge win for both, okay? I think Canelo was worth every penny, and I think the zone was smart for giving it to him, okay? So, much love to... Canelo Alvarez, Golden Boy, everything that's happening over there. Now, I am going to hate a little bit on what Floyd Mayweather is doing on Instagram and Twitter. I follow him, and he's hating on Golden Boy and stuff like that. So, for some reason, what Canelo eats make Floyd Mayweather shit. I'm not sure. For, for whatever reason, how his success is hurting Floyd Mayweather, I don't know. But really, he should be applauding. I'm applauding. It's great for the sport. I think Canelo, I think he's great for the sport. So, I'm happy all this is happening. Especially after HBO gave up boxing.
Comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Derrick Lewis now has a better chance against Daniel Cormier with, you know, his hand not being 100% or do you think it's not mattering that much? And how do you feel about Floyd Mayweather and Habib? Do you think that fight is really going to materialize? Because I don't. And what do you think about Canelo Alvarez and this huge contract? Do you think that he's worth it? Because I do. So let me know below. Comment your thoughts. And don't forget, Showbiz the adult. <laughs> Listen to Showbiz. I'm out. Boxing. <laughs> What's better? What's better? All boxing. What's better? Listen to Showbiz. What's better? No kidding.